Hi Liam. Hi O'Hara. Hello Kujan. Ben, I don't do the box, darling. One hundred percent grape worthy. What What does that mean? I don't know who Dave Allen is. She don't know Dave Allen. That's what I mean. He says it no all. No lads have joined. She don't. She looks grieved. You rejected them booth. Wow. Severe bout of women required. <laughs> Probably one of our own fellas, yeah. He's called me a black quitter. Um, yeah, so the, the remix. Oh, you're boring. Hold up. Who's Ben Booth? I sent you a request. What? Where's all these people come from? Entire FL Colt. What are they talking about? Get involved. Look, she's she's perplexed. <laughs> Look, she's fucking loving it. The you know, the amount of tension she's getting now. Biting her lip and not. No, I don't know Dave Allen. She don't know Dave Allen, you know. Live on YouTube. You fucking snitches. Stop telling them that, man. You fucking. What? You're killing the vibe, man. I'm just trying to have a little chat here. Don't tell them, innit? Because they'll start fucking. You might like the attention. Deep enough for bamboo. <laughs> Wow, okay, hi guys. I'm gonna get it out of the way and then we can carry on. I'm not gonna be saying that I horror. They're gonna she ain't gonna accept me in the box, so I might just fucking move on, eh? Alexa, pause. Hello. Why don't you accept <laughs> boxes? Put in. Why don't you accept the box normally? I heard you saying you don't accept the box. I don't accept it normally because um, I've got severe brain damage and I struggle to do the box and keep up with the comments. Yeah, what's up with your brain? Um, I've had surgery. I've yeah. had a few surgeries. Was you a boxer or something? But him? Was you a boxer? No, 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 I had a brain tumour. Oh, a brain tumour. Yeah. How's that going? Well, it's gone, so it's going well. So you're celebrating on Plenty of Fish stream, yeah? No, I'm not celebrating. You've recovered. I'm just though. streaming, just talking to people. Yeah, you managed to sort out the box because there was a lot of demand, weren't there? You know, for Ben Booth to join. What do you think of that? There was, yeah. Like, what, what you've got like a little court leading, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a court following, you know. Yeah, I like it. You know, on YouTube. Is it on YouTube? Yeah. We're just having a little stream, you know, and seeing what kind of women are on here and just having a little chat. Okay, and how, how's it going for you? It's going all right, you know. It's all right. There's a few people getting involved, you know, asking a lot of questions. What kind of questions are they asking? They're asking if they can send a dick pic. What if you can? All of us. What what have you told him? That's what they said. Okay. So what are you saying? I'm I'm not really saying anything. No, they're asking me to ask you if they can send you a dick pic on Snapchat. Oh no, I don't have Snapchat. Okay, no, nah, no, nah, nah. all right. She, she, ain't, she ain't gonna do it. Snapchat's for kids. Yeah, I'm old. How old are you? Thirty-seven. Yeah, I'm thirty, so I'm getting a bit too old for Snapchat, to be honest. Are you enjoying the attention from these cult followers? I'm not really uh, paying attention to it, to be honest with you. What are you paying attention to? Paying attention to you, Mr. Booth. Yeah. You seem yeah, all right, you know, for this, you don't seem like you've got brain injuries. You seem okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right. You should have seen me two years ago. I couldn't talk, couldn't feed myself, couldn't walk, yeah. couldn't do anything. Gerald McLennan. You are sorry. Yeah, man. Some boxers get those kind of injuries as well. So, uh... Yeah, there's in. I've spoken to a few people on here that have got, like, similar sort of injuries. I think this site's full of people who I think this site's full of people who have got like brain injuries and mentally. I think you need a brain injury to be on this site, to yeah, be honest with you. Yeah, exactly. Some this people is, are weird on this site. Yeah, this is what's the weirdest thing they've said to you though? Like what what are you saying? Um 
I wouldn't say it's like weirdest thing. I've had all sorts of like messages mm. um, asking how many times I fought, if I'll send knickers that I fought it in, wow. just crazy things like that. Um, Fart questions, yeah. Well, you, you're gonna, you, you expect it. You're on a dating site. Well, it's like five dating sites linked up, so you're gonna get first, aren't you? I've but never once, had any. Like now. when you first start, when you first start your stream, you tend to get a lot of thirst, and then people like filter off, and then you're left with a few that can actually hold a decent conversation. Mm. No fart talking. Yeah, like I, I'm not about that life. Some people fart in okay, bottles. Okay, I'm going to ask you about your boxing career because people keep saying about your boxing career. Yeah, it's not that interesting. It's not that interesting. I think they're more oh, okay. interested in like the farting talk. Like these guys are weird, man. Oh, okay. So this is your cult following, yeah. and these guys are weird. So what does that say about you? It's cool. I think you know, have you ever heard of Jeffrey Dahmer? I have. Yeah. Did you watch that series? No. Yeah, I struggled to get through it. To be honest. Did you? It's a bit too fruity for me. What What was so fruity about it? When he was getting like little black men to take their tops off and dance, you know what I mean? It's, it's not my cup of tea. Oh, okay. Did you like make yourself a little snack? Did you have a little sandwich whilst you was watching it? Yeah, but I felt a bit sick, so I couldn't really finish the food. It's not really my okay. thing, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. So why do all these people follow you? I don't know. It's I don't. I, seriously, it's just like it's just weird. And how did how did they know where you're gonna be? Because I stream on YouTube, and sometimes I'd go on plenty of fish, you know, to have a few little chats with a few women on here, and just find out what the whole online dating scene's like for women. And you've just said a few interesting things, aren't you, about men asking you to fart and all that stuff? Oh, okay. He's the funniest man on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna like look you all. You're from really Nottingham. Go on YouTube. You're from yeah. Nottingham, isn't it? Yeah, I could tell by your accent. I'm from Nottingham as well. well. I'm from well, Mons. in between Nottingham and Derby. Oh, Mansfield. No, I'm not gonna put on the internet where I'm from. Am I? Yeah, you don't want to do that. She's the Nottingham Ripper. <laughs> so you don't like murder, no? Well, I'm not a fan of being murdered, and I've never murdered anybody. We like watching murder documentaries, don't we? So, um, I used to, yeah. I don't watch TV anymore. I don't like pay attention to any kind of media. I like to live my own little bubble, Ben Booth. Yeah, this this is a bad bubble to be in, though. This online dating, streaming business, plenty of fish. It is, yeah. It's, it's so awful. I only joined this about nine weeks ago because I thought, oh, I'll get myself a little date. And yeah, it's full of weirdos. But I do like the streaming element. I do like just chatting. Hmm. It's not the same though, is it? As like sitting down in a restaurant and talking or a bar with a real person. No, but gone are the days of doing that, Ben. Do you not think? Yeah, I agree. People you don't know, want it's... to meet in real life. They prefer a virtual reality. It's not as good though. It's man. weird. It's ridiculous. It's like watching porn. It's not as real. It's not as real as actually fucking banging, is it? Ask him about his gay uncle. Oh, fucking no. hell. Why? Yeah, they're just weird, innit? I like them, though. They're, just, they're, they're like my irrelevant. little mates. They're like my little mates, so they're just fucking chatting bullshit. The core cool thing's you're a nice lady, so we do. Yeah, you seem alright. I've joined about five streams today, and a lot of the women, were they were being a bit, bit you know what I mean, negative or whatever. Um, I think you'll find that with a lot of people on here, male and female, to be honest with you. A lot of them are diamond whores, like just stream for diamonds. Um, and then others have just got a chip on the shoulder. Mm. Why don't you start having a go at you? They start, um, they start trying to take when, it when, out on you and it trolls. When people do the... So on here you can do battles. So you can like do verses and it will send you to like anybody in the world and you've got like three minutes just to talk. And a lot of people troll on there. So they're just horrible. Well, that's like people like reward them. People like spend diamonds on them and stuff. I don't really understand it yet. Yeah, people love negativity, don't they? That's what I said about mm, murder. Yeah. That's why people tune into murder documentaries and that. Everybody likes something toxic, don't they? Yeah, because if I post something on Instagram and I get like a hundred positive messages or comments, you know, if I get one negative one, that will stick in my mind. So. We seem to be a, well, we seem to be drawn to negativity. 
Yeah, I think it's a natural thing. For every positive thing, for every negative thing, it takes something like five positive things to outweigh it. Mm. I'd say more like hundreds, because like I say, if I get a hundred positive messages, then he's one idiot. That's the idiot who stands in my mind the most. Does it Does it bother you when you get like bad comments? No, it don't really bother me, you know, because of where I'm at in life. When I was really broke and down and out, it bothered me about it. You know, this stream that I've done today, I've made a few hundred quid. What, just by streaming? Yeah, by talking bullshit on here like this. Wow, okay. So it's like a so, nice yeah, little Yeah, I didn't realise that you could sort of monetize it like that. Yeah, but you spoke about the diamonds, so that's like monetization as well, isn't it? In itself. Yeah, I get that. But I didn't realise you could just... I don't know why people tune into stream. Like, I've not really got that anything that interesting to say. Mm. But... Yeah, people come and talk. You just like women, don't they? As long as you got like a, a pair of tits and a pussy, they fucking will tune in. Yeah, well, you can't show that though, can you? I don't know. Are you allowed on here? Uh, no. So I got banned for showing my leg the other day. Oh, just a leg. Yeah, I show my crotch. So I showed, I had, I've got a tattoo on my shin. Yeah. And right. I was just showing my tattoo and I got banned for it. It's not a sexual tattoo, right. no? No. No, not at all. What is it? It's... um. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a pattern. Mm. Like so not nothing really. It's cute. It's like a little butterfly and then like a little flower. It's yeah. nice. I had the camera pointing at my crotch by accident and I got banned for about 12 hours. What, of YouTube? No, on this little plenty of fish when I was streaming. Oh, no. So they, they're quite... Mind you, they, I don't think they're as strict as men as what they are with women from what I've seen. Mm. Well, what have you seen from men that have been a bit sexual? <laughs> Just like, not... Well, some men will get in the box and they'll be, like, masturbating. Oh, what, and you can actually like, see... Like, full-on, like, everything. There's, there's one guy... Because there's, like, moderators in your stream, or there's meant to be, um, like, mob bots. They're meant to kick people out like that straight away. There's one guy, yeah, shot his load all over. I bust a nut, That was it? interesting watch. Which I don't really get, because, obviously, like, I'm streaming, but... My stream tends to be full of men, so I don't know why a guy wants to get in the box and do that in front of a load of men. Yeah, I, I don't like exposing myself to other men, do you know what I mean, so... I just, I don't see what they get out of it. No, but he's probably thinking of, like, the bigger picture, you know, you seeing his load. That probably outweighs the men watching, or he might be bisexual yeah, I mean, as well, yeah. so... Might be a bit bi, yeah, yeah. yeah, some people are bi, aren't they? Are you bi or are you straight? Do you like women or men or both? Me? Yeah. I don't really like anyone, to be honest with you. Are oh, you asexual? No, no, no. No, I'm straight. So you like men? Yeah. Yeah, you seem all right, man. These questions that these people are, are asking. What are you like, saying? Yeah, and a like puzzle as well. Like someone saying, do you like black guys? What difference does it make if they're fucking black or not? Well, it matters to me. I don't like black women at all. Do you not? Yeah, we've all got our preferences. It's not racist. It's just a preference, isn't it? Yeah, no, but I just don't get the question. Like, um, would I like... Like, if somebody was to say, are oh, you attracted to black guys, then fair enough, but do you like black guys? I think it's a bit of a weird question. But like, I, but I, don't I like, like a black guy men. that's nice, whether, regardless if he's black or white or Chinese or what. I think they more. I think they mean more in a sexual like context. You know what I mean, like sexual. Um, well, to be sexually attracted to someone, I have to have an emotional connection to them. Yeah, that's that's what women are normally like. Like they won't just fuck some random man, would they? Like, obviously you yeah, do get some fair. slags who just fuck anything, but I think most Again. women are emotional, innit? And it's they've got to kind of be that way because the man might be mental. So if thoughts on them with, pissing in bottles. What's my thoughts on Ben pissing in bottles? Well, if you need to go, you need to go, Callum. You've got to go, aren't you? Got to go. Have you ever pissed in an alleyway? Yeah. How did that go? Was that all right, yeah? It, it, yeah, standard. I got a bit on my foot once. Yeah. That wasn't very nice. A bit harder for women, isn't it? Not really. It is, because you have to like pull your trousers down and aim and squat and all that. The man Didn't have trousers on, I had a skirt on. Just pull your knickers to one side, squat, jobs are good in. Pissed Cheat lettuce. Piss, did Piss you wipe? Your foot. Did you wipe? Yeah. Yeah. Did I wipe? No, yeah. I didn't take toilet roll out with me in my bag. Just had a little shake, yeah. Mm, yeah. Nice little shake. Then wants to take you out for a 79p mix-up. 
This is sounding too perfect for you. Thank you. A bag of sweets and a walk. I'm not really a fan of sweets. I like chocolate. Yeah. All these people would say random. Yeah, they're random. Do these like follow you everywhere? Yeah, they follow me. They fucking message me every day and just they give me a lot of cash as well so they good i think they're good guys they're just a bit uh his name weird. isn't really ben by the way thanks for pointing that one out Jaden. is that what he said yeah my name yeah. Is, my name is benjamin booth benjamin booth yeah not number one on the end of your name is that not, not really your government name nah i forget the one ben enjoys severe bouts of rimming Give me a guy that doesn't lay. Oh, is that what men like? Yeah. In your experience. Um, from, yeah. Yeah, from my experience, men enjoy that. Because the G-spot's in the man's arse, isn't it? So. It is, yeah. But you can get there without actually putting your finger in. How do you get there? Because you, you just press on the prostate, which is like between the ball sack and the bum. Oh, okay. That little, what's it called? A gooch. Yeah. Oh, Ask Ben about his crabs. Would you like to speak about your crabs, Ben? Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit of a weird one. I had crabs but I was a virgin back then, so I don't know how I got the crabs. Oh, okay. Did shaving your pubic hair work? Exactly that. Exactly worked like a treat. It worked a fucking treatment. Because you live on hairs, don't they? No, I'm not a fan of that. What did what did he say? Somebody said, Do you like Echo Falls? I'm not really a fan of that wine now. You're not into that now. No. That's my trademark she drink. She looks like she's crab free. And I've got loads of crabs, Brandon. You crabbed up. I did actually have a rainbow crab called Bruce. Mm. Just size matter, be honest. They don't meet they don't make two inch dildos, do they, Liam? But those dildos that they do make are really unrealistic because the average size is five and a half inches. They are unrealistic, but if we had a choice, babes. But some women say like size doesn't matter, it's about how you use it kind of thing. What's your ideal size? It really does depend. That's it. It really is an individual thing. So the average vagina is like four inches deep. So for a woman, it's more about girth, mm. in all honesty. Prince Patel. <clears throat> than length. Yeah. And positions, you can make it work. Unless you have got a micro penis, then I think you are struggling. What's the minimum you're willing to accept, you know, dick wise? Mm, it depends. It's all about the girth, you say, yeah? Girth. Yeah. Prince Patel, yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's a puzzle. <coughs> yeah, see, you're struggling. If you've got length but no girth, I I'd prefer girth. Right, okay. All about six inch destroyer, ain't it? She's she is the goat of puff. What's the goat? The great goat is uh, the greatest of all time. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. Yeah, you seem alright for this dating app. I spoke to a lot of dodgy women. Too good women for this dating app, Ben. Yeah, you need to. Go I won't be on here long because people are strange. What made you come on here? You just separated, or? Um, no, so. I had a brain tumor two years ago, and like like I said, I was severely brain damaged. Then I had to like relearn everything. Um, so I I didn't really go out much or do anything. Um, and I was kind of lonely. And I thought, oh, I'll join a like dating site. Mm -hmm. And then I seen all the streaming, and I was like, oh, what's this about? And then I thought, oh, this looks quite fun. So I just started streaming, and then now I'm not really bothered about meeting any hard. Mm. I think oh, it's just the company. Because like I'm not working at the minute because of obviously like my disabilities and stuff, I miss talking to people. I miss interacting with people. Yeah. Because I'm I'm quite a friendly person, so I like that element of it. But obviously, it is like five dating sites merged. This is so it is just a thirst trap most of the time, which is a bit off putting really. But you get to see people for what they actually are. Mm. Liam, what do you mean half thick there? Ben wants you to be his YouTube wife. Did Ben tell you that, did he? Because Ben not got his own voice. Do you want to be the YouTube wife? Yeah, shall we do it? Like I say, I've made hundreds of pounds from this little stream here talking bullshit. 
So uh, it's, oh, yeah. it's quite lucrative and it's it's just easy work, isn't it? Yeah, very. Do, is is this your only job, Ben? Do you do it as a job or is it more of a hobby? Both. I get paid and I enjoy it as well. This has been a nice little friendly chat, so it's like a little hobby as well as a... Because I used to be on this yeah, dating no. app before I went on YouTube and I was talking okay. to a load of women and uh, I, got, I got banned. And how did for you find it crush. then? Did you stream then? I used to stream, but I kept getting banned for some silly reason. Yeah. I think the camera was pointing at my crotch. Okay. Because sometimes your phone like falls down a bit, don't it? It wasn't intentional. Yeah, I mean, mine does sometimes, and you see a bit of cleavage. Yeah. Has it happened today? No, it's not happened today, because I've only just... It happened... When did it happen? Saturday, because I had a couple of bottles of wine. Love it. Yeah. What you didn't like? And it slipped it? a little bit. Mm. I mean, I was fully dressed. But you're showing a big cleavage. Did yeah. They, so they got, did they get excited by that? Um, well, yeah. They got that excited that I caught a ban. Yeah, fuck you now. You guys meet up when get Ben goes back down north. Good, good. Ask Ben about his nearly beating Chris Eubank. Do you want to join the call? I don't know. Court scare me. I once watched this programme about children of God, and that was a court, and that was horrific. Charles Manson. I don't know who that is. He had a cult and he sent his cult out to murder people, you know what I mean? So, cults are a bit weird, but I think most people on these dating apps are weird. I think they're strange. So they pe are. People's asking you about farting and all that. It's not really something I'd say to a woman, to be honest. Well, I don't answer any of my private messages because they're just ridiculous. And, like, literally, some guys don't know when to stop, so... They'll send like 15, 16 messages and you've not replied to any of them. Like, chances are you're not going to reply. If you've not replied to like one or two, you're not going to reply to ten. Yeah. You two should go on a date and stream it. I'm That's, up for that. Are you serious? Slip for that? I would be up for that, but I'm not going to be like this sacrificial murder, am I? No, because I'm obviously. Like, I'm, I've I'm fought probably... a brain tumor and I've got through it and I really don't want to die anytime soon. Yeah, fuck that. You don't want to die, so we'll keep it nice and murder-free. That's sad. Can you see that knife? Yeah, you are. I'm the sacrificial. I'm the sacrificial oh, person, aren't I? I've got a little knife here. Oh well. Hey. Oh god, that scared me. Then why are you doing that, Ben? It's quite sharp, isn't it? Well, knives tend to be. That's, That's the fucking yeah. whole point of them, Ben. Murder. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. I'm not worried. Yeah, you said you was worried about getting murdered. Just be careful, you'll get banned for showing that, you know. Yeah, it's not worth it, is it? Be safe. The Yorkshire Ripper is coming out. You Have mind. you read my profile on this, Ben? No, I'd have seen you on the stream and I thought, she looks all right, so I'll join her stream. Do you know what? My profile is, it's just a bit of a piss take. Please don't take it seriously. I'm what fucking did... asking for this. This is how I'm going to die. What did you say? You say you like toxic men who like murdering and stuff like that. Basically, yeah. Mm. I think you do want that subconsciously. Because women like Maybe. murderers. Women like murderers. Because if you think murderers about... Murderers intrigue people, I think. But if you look at it, like, historically, you know, the men back in the days who were, like, murderers, who would protect their wife and kids from cavemen who were mental and wild animals. I think women have evolved to prefer, like, men who are savages. That's all right, Lewis, because I'm pretty fucking stupid, darling. She might right, man. Ask Ben about the time he drank his piss. Yeah, because when I do streams, I, I piss in a bottle. Okay. You know, because I don't want to have to run to the toilet when I'm streaming live. So I, I pissed in a bottle and I drank it by accident. And it was disgusting. How much of it did you drink? It was was like it a, still warm or did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, piss is warm and it was horrible and warm oh so you drank it like straight away then yeah, but I, didn't, much. yeah but I didn't swallow it i didn't swallow it as soon as i realized it was piss i'd have spat yeah it the out. heat and it was nice disgusting. no it's horrible because because they big rules and stuff they do that don't they yeah because you have so to you survive could if you had to. yeah if you have to survive you have to survive innit? yeah 100%. they were like the yeah the them guys who had to survive they had to eat people and stuff like that is that true, Jaden? Ben is like Jeffrey Dahmer, but for women. Okay. Um, 
somebody asked me the other day if you would eat a human if you had to like, uh, to survive and i was like yeah if it was a case of survival i don't think i could kill a human to survive but i think like have you ever seen the film frozen yeah yeah well like they had a plane crash didn't they yeah and like some of the people died and they ended up eating him i think i could do that yeah do what you have to do man hold up coogan cassius what i've seen cassius and i love that name do you yeah i've got a snake called cassius Coogan Cassius is an Indian guy who loves white women. Okay. So what's your preference? Um, again, I've not really got a preference. I've got so many different types. Like, my ex-partners have all been completely different. Mm. And I know that's dead, like, cliche to say that, but it's true. It's a bit like, politically I'm, correct, isn't it? Not really politically correct. You know, like I just trying tend to... to go on personality more. Yeah, if you like, you like what you like. I, I don't go beyond white, to be honest. Well, I mean, I am more attracted to the dark skin male, shall we say? Mm. Like, I like dark features. I like brown eyes. I like dark hair. Mm. I like olive skin. Growth. I've got four snakes, Danny. Ben, get them glasses off and get the glasses off describe Ben well I can't see how tall he is I six don't know his two. build six foot two There's athletic six foot two. athletic double chin oh we've all got them yeah double chin some some women like point the camera you know at the ceiling so they don't have to get on camera yeah so but, they can hide well, the double chin sometimes like at the beginning of my stream i'll put like i'll just face it to the ceiling just to get rid of the thirst because guys tend to like click on and then click off them like but obviously the people that get to know you on the stream they'll stick around for like five minutes or whatever and then you can have a little chat mm. am i a single mom what kind of a questions are i'm not here to talk about my kids do you like his maltese head his maltese head's very nice do you like Ben's shiny forehead? Yeah, I'm a little bit jealous because mine's a bit shiny as well. I like I like Ben's skin tone. Wish my skin tone was like that. I like your white skin tone. Your white skin. Do you? Any darker than that, I'm not really into it, to be honest. If you was the same colour as me, I probably wouldn't have joined. Would you not? But I seen a little white woman and I thought, yeah, we'll have a little chat with her and see what she's Definitely about. not little, Ben. Oh, you're not little. Big. How tall are you? No. I'm five foot six, but I'm I'm quite big boned. Big boned. Yeah, covered in meat and gravy. <laughs> yeah. Ask Ben about why he got banned from boxing. Oh, it's not, ben, it's why not did interesting. You get from no, boxing? no, no, it's not interesting. So he has a cute nose, doesn't he? he does have a cute nose? They're yeah. taking the piss out of me. That's what they're doing. They're trolling me, but I like them. You know when you got well, mates. I think we do have a cute news. Uh, cute news. Cute news. Yeah, there's a bit. Of, there's a. There's a little vibe going on here. I think. What with me and you? Yeah, there's a little vibe. I'm not trying to. Uh, think so? I, I don't. I don't. I don't like beg women. You know what I mean? I don't fucking. Bow. Do, I don't think you need to beg women, Ben. I'm not a simp. You know what I mean? Some men are desperate. You know on here, as you can tell when they're getting excited yes, about your cleavage. Just one sec. Yeah, puzzle. I'll. Um, I'll message you when I come off stream, babe. I'm coming off at one. So I'll give you a message. Night, darling. Love you. Um, ask them what. Well, she 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 fucked me off, man. She like started talking to some next dude, and it started to just fuck it off, man. I ain't no fucking simp out here. You get me? I was talking in it, and she like cut me off. I started talking to some next dude, man. That's how you have to be, man. As soon as they start fucking eyes somewhere else, you have to just fucking leave it. Do you understand? You can't be a fucking simp. If you're with a woman and she starts talking to some next dude, cut her off. Do you understand? Yeah, I'm trying to give you a lot of game. Yeah? You lot would hang about while she's talking to some other man. You're mad. I don't fucking do them kind of things, you know. Any fucking little bit of talking to another man. See you later. I'm out of here. I ain't got time for that shit. 
You're fucking insane. I ain't, listen, I ain't no fucking simp out here. I'm above average. I've worked hard to be above average. So cutting me off like that when I'm talking. I was talking. I was in the middle of saying something, innit? I should have fucking cut, started talking to some next dude. Saying I'll message you in a minute. Bro, fuck that, man. You fucking dumb. <laughs> Are you fucking insane or something? You can't do that to me. You're mad. Hell no. Hell no. That's a violation, bro. I don't tolerate any of that kind of shit at all. None of it. I've worked too hard to build myself up, you know, into a high value man. Where I'm gonna tolerate that kind of fucking disrespect. Cutting me off and start talking to some next dude. She got loads of kids and she's fucking fat. She seemed all right, innit? But when she just started, bro, come on, man. I ain't finna hang around for that. Straight gun, man. Done. Do what man know. <laughs> Do what man know. Top T in the building. Come on, man. I ain't finna put up with that. You gotta set boundaries with these women. You know, if you let them walk all over you like that, they'll fucking have you like some clown. Some muppet, man. I ain't no fucking muppet out here. I know my worth, man. So as soon as she started chatting to someone else, yo, fuck off, man. Bitch ass. Proud of myself. I'm really proud. I did well. Just get out of there. Don't hang about. No begging. No simping. No, it's cutting me off like that. I was trying to say something in it. She was like, oh, fuck. No, nah, hell no. Hell no. That bitch is sitting there now thinking about me. Thinking, bloody hell, he just left like that. When I started talking to someone else, bloody hell, he knows his worth. Yeah, I fucking do. I know my worth, man. I know my value. And I ain't on some low level where I'm going to sit there and wait for you to finish talking to some next fucking dude, man. That's some baby thing. And she's, she's got a load of kids and she's a bit overweight. Hell no. What are you saying? Follow my example, man, and you're getting some nice posse, man. 